Hey friends, welcome back to the channel Tech with Marco. So recently I started working on my own and before that I worked in a company and used to work as a backend engineer with mostly Java and Python. And now that I'm currently building some websites with either WordPress as a beginning and also with some front end frameworks like React or Next.js, I stumbled across a really nice website, which I'd like to share with you to improve your coding skills or your coding path in order to step up your career game. I really find it helpful that I stumbled across the website, which is called roadmap.sh because it's listing some kind of like path to take, to get into, to dive into a technology. And for me, at least in my front end developer skills, it helps me to see what I can learn and uh, what I should learn and what are the basics and what are the basic concepts of the framework, for example, React. And uh, for that, this helps me to have a look into what should I learn now and where to put my focus on. Because at the beginning, I started with just coding, like watch some YouTube videos and I read some tutorials. So I basically know like the base of JavaScript, but like I'm not good at it. This, for example, helped me to understand that I, maybe I should start first with HTML and CSS instead of uh, really deep diving into frameworks and uh, Tailwind, for example, for the beginning. So let's have a look at the website. I really like the website. It has some different structures. So you can, for example, have a look at the role-based roadmap. So for example, you want to take a role as a front-end engineer or a back-end engineer, then you should have a look at this one, or you can uh, jump right into like skill-based roadmaps. So for example, uh, more framework-based or computer science as a study program. You can also take a look at the best practices. Yeah, best practices, for example, uh, doing code reviews or about some security topics. Yeah, I really like the structure because you can check out for yourself what you like and what you don't like. So for example, let's have a look at the front-end role-based roadmap. Uh, that we can see a diagram with uh, a path to take, uh, the blue dots here. And there we can see it's all starting with the internet. So I can click on internet and see some knowledge about the internet or like some explanation of what it is and which give me helpful information about how does the internet actually work or what is the internet and how it is explained. And I can just click on the link and then I get to a document where I can see what the internet all about. I really like that kind of learning um, because it's like you're taking step by step. And what really nice is if you have an account at that website, you can assign a certain state to this little box on the roadmap. So that means you can always track your progress and you can help yourself accountable for it. So that means you can start learning, for example, what the internet is. And I can just put the progress in uh, the status in progress. And if I have the feeling that I'm done, I can click it done. And yeah, as you can see, the internet box is now across. So that means I've already taken that step here. From that, I can extend to the left or to the right. And for example, see how DNS, for example, works. And uh, after that, I can continue my main road path here and then start with HTML, CSS, and uh, JavaScript. And for me, that gives me the feeling that I have a box where I'm in and I can jump into different boxes in the box and know so, and, and get to learn some certain things because if you don't have a guideline to rely on, then you can just keep on watching tutorials and be like anywhere in the web. So you're not having a guideline to follow. For example, after you've learned the basics of uh, HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you can continue to the version control systems like Git and use it with GitHub. Yeah, that helps you to complete your role. And what the difference now between the role-based path is and the skill-based path is that uh, I can now click on React, for example. Uh, in the React roadmap, I don't have like the version control systems or like the basic knowledge of how the internet works. I just have very concentrated knowledge about what React is all about and learn on different components here. And what I really like about the roadmap.sh project is that you can even, if you're good at something, for example, I'm really good at DevOps engineer skills, or AWS and stuff like that. And I 
go through the roadmaps there and I see, okay, there is something to improve on or, or something I want to contribute to that path, uh, then I can just make a contribution on the GitHub page uh, of roadmap.sh because it's an open source project. And I think it's also under the 100 most start project on GitHub. So it's very well known actually, but if you don't know it, I highly recommend checking it out and see what you could learn. And yeah, I'm currently at the, as I said, the front end developer path. And as an extra, they also provide some guides, uh, written tutorials, for example, I, I haven't checked them out yet, but five free resources to master large language models. So this is a very huge field, large language models, which is kind of in the hype now. And yeah, I have some really nice recommendations here to check out, to go back. They also have a video section, which is uh, more or less kind of the same as I try to do here on the channel here, more focused on the roadmap SH skills. So uh, I can check out the session based, session based authentication, YouTube video tutorial here. And that makes it really nice to like have different kind of learning ways. And I also really recommend to register an account there so that you can track yourself and yeah, for example, put an appointment in your calendar for every second or every third day to check out the next box of the roadmap and yeah, try to learn your new path and learn new things. Currently I'm at the front end path and try to go through the path because, uh, as I said, in the beginning, in the last years, I only worked as a back, back end and DevOps engineer and. I'm not so good at the front end technologies and I basically or honestly hate CSS. <laughs> and yeah, I try to learn that because I think it's a nice skill to have as a freelancer in the web. So I hope you guys have something to do for the next week. And yeah, uh, just my recommendation for you. And now it's a good time to subscribe to my channel to don't miss any tips or coding tutorials or DevOps tutorials, uh, whatever you like to watch. Uh, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, I'd be happy if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.